this is Pat Smith for Premier Guitar. I'm here this time with the Jens Ritter Princess Isabella. It's a 28-inch scale-length baritone, although in this case it is tuned to standard tuning, but it can be restrung and tuned down. As you can see, it is not your standard sort of jazz guitar, which is its intent. Uh, it's made in Germany, handcrafted. This is number three of 50, a limited run. Uh, Jens is normally a bass builder, but he has tackled the jazz guitar world and already won over uh, George Benson, among others, to uh, be a fan of this guitar. The finish on this is absolutely flawless. It's just perfect. So whether you like white or not, that would be up to you. Jens is a custom builder, so if you don't like white, he'll build it any way you want. But this run is going to be just like you see it here. He wanted uh, to paint it an opaque color so that the emphasis would be just on the guitar itself. So there are no controls on this guitar. It just is what it is. It's the beast that it is. So among the features, uh, he's got a spring steel tailpiece, which he has uh, hand cast by a jeweler there in Germany. Uh, all the gold parts are 24 karat gold. So it's uh, pretty high style. I'm going to flip this over so you can see how the tailpiece joins the body. It comes all the way around and is actually mounted to the back. And you can also see 24 karat gold plate on the back here that covers the wiring for the pickup. And obviously the plug-in. So you can hear some of the more of this. It's got a nice, wumpy, jazz kind of sound. Because this is a solid body, it's very thin, one inch, as you can see. So for you jazz guys that are used to hollow body instruments, you know, if you want to rest your arm, it's pretty sharp, not too comfy. But because of the way it's shaped, it really does kind of fit right against you in a very comfortable way. And I don't have the strap buttons. It's got uh, plug-in strap locks but hanging it is also very comfortable and you can see it sits on your lap in a very jazz guitar kind of position. So again, no volumes, no tones. It is what it is, you have to set it on the amp. But again, you can custom order one if you want with whatever you want. The bridge free floats on the top. It has a brass plate here that is, of course, again, 24 karat gold plating, nothing but the finest. Uh, there's a hollow under that bridge, and between that and the finger tailpiece, the idea, according to uh, what Mr. Ritter explained to me, is that he wants to control the way the attack of the guitar works to give it more of that kind of delayed archtop feel. So, so you can hear you still have a nice kind of solid body sustain, but it does have that sort of poofy attack. I also asked him why he didn't use a wood tailpiece, or I mean a wood uh, bridge, because it seemed to me that jazz guys would be, most jazz guitars have wood bridges. And he said he tried them and he showed me, we've Skyped, and he showed me several prototype bridges he'd done in various woods, and he said the reaction he wanted was with this, so here it is. Another interesting feature, uh, the pickup which is made by another German builder, uses rare earth magnets, which are real super powerful, very small magnets. So it's a very thought out instrument. Maybe not for everybody. But it's a beauty. So you can check it out in the June issue of Premier Guitar. And 
and I'm Pat Smith for Premier Guitar on PremierGuitar.com. Mm -hmm.